Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today we're going to be showing you how to look at your striking distance keywords within seotesting.com. So you can see here that we're actually on the dashboard for our website, and on the left hand side you've got a section that says reports. So you want to click on that and it'll take you straight through to the report section, and uh, this is basically where you access all your reports for your actual website. Uh, so you need to scroll down a little bit and you'll see on the left hand side there it says striking distance keywords. Click on that and it'll take you straight through to where you need to be. So once you're on here, as you can see you've got all the keywords here on the left hand side that you're ranking for. And uh, when I say ranking for, the striking distance keywords actually pull up the keywords that you're ranking for within the top 10 to 30 positions. So what that means is basically anything just under um, page 1, so things from the start of page 2, all the way up to I believe that's page 3 or 4. Um, so it's really nice actually being able to have this feature because what it does is it shows you keywords that with a little bit of work and a little bit of effort, you can easily push onto page 1, start getting some clicks through to your website, and obviously that can lead to uh, more revenue and, and more income depending on, you know, how monetary the keyword actually is and all that kind of stuff. But it's great to actually have a look through these and to improve these as you can get some really great quick wins from just improving these keywords. Um, so as I said earlier, you've got all the keywords to the left hand side. You've got the actual clicks here, here um, on the filter, you've got the impressions, the click through rate and the average position. Uh, you can filter that out as you wish, so if you want to actually press average position, it'll take you uh, to all the best ones, so the ones that are uh, closest to actually page 1. Or you could filter it out to the ones that are furthest away from page 1, obviously starting from uh, 30, moving downwards. So it's completely up to you how you want to have a look at them. But what this tool is really great for is just, like I said, highlighting these keywords that um, with a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, you can push into page one and actually start getting some clicks through to your website for. And uh, obviously that can lead to more traffic, more income, all that kind of stuff. So it's really great. Um, in terms of actually how to achieve that and how to improve these keywords, there's quite a lot of things that you can do. I mean, uh, the first one is to optimize the page better. Uh, there's various tools out there that can help you do this, but it's basically optimizing the page's content to rank for the keyword better is the idea. So kind of on-page optimization. Uh, another idea would be to add some internal links to the page. So obviously um, improving that and improving the relevancy of that page for the keyword you're looking to improve. Again, you could build a relevant external backlink to the page. So that's a really great way to, again, uh, add relevancy and add power to the actual page. Um, and yeah, just kind of those kind of techniques are usually what, uh, what help to improve these keywords are kind of sat in that, you know, 10 to 12, maybe a little bit higher positions and uh, able to push them onto page one. It can really help with those techniques. Um, bit of advice as well is to double check that the keyword you're looking to improve actually matches the SERP intent that your page is looking to rank for. Um, so what I mean by that is if there's a keyword that, you know, is, is completely against what your page is, is trying to rank for, but it's ranking in, you know, page two and you're thinking, oh, I could push it up to page one think is it is it right to be on page one will google want it to be there will the users more importantly want to actually see it there is that keyword what your page is talking about and if there's no way of you know creating that page or moving that way that page into that keyword does it need its own page perhaps i mean this is something to always think about and and always to consider because oftentimes uh, you can get carried away with the numbers and with the figures and the clicks and impressions and everything and uh, sometimes a little bit of logic does need to be applied um, and I know that can be quite a time consuming process but there are tools again that are really great to help you do this uh, one of them being Keyword uh, Cupid. Keyword Cupid is a keyword clustering tool that essentially clusters all your keywords together uh, and enables you to get like a bit more insight into which pages uh, you need to create and which things you need to do with that so it can help you out a lot and uh, like I said it's just worth kind of bearing these bearing these things in mind but Overall, like I said earlier, I mean, with these with these actual uh, keywords that you're looking at here, a lot of the time, you know, you're just going into different pages and adding them in. I mean, if anything, it's good for Google because Google loves fresh content as well. So they're going to really like the fact that you're doing that and you're going to be adding in the keyword. You're going to be making it more relevant and more kind of uh, more of a authority for that keyword. So it's going to push it up into the ranking and you get a whole host of keywords here, like you can see um, that we could potentially go into. I mean, there with quite a lot of impressions that one there. So we could have a look at kind of what we could do to push that onto it. And obviously, like I said, it's in it's in page uh, position 10, sorry, at the minute. So not too far off being in page uh, page one. So there's a lot of keywords here that we could go through and work through and uh, probably use those te techniques to actually help improve that. But uh, also the final great thing with uh, the striking distance keyword feature here on seotesting.com is SEO testing actually uses uh, Google data for their keywords, for, you know, for the clicks, for the keywords, for the impressions, for the uh, click through rate, for the position. So all the data is completely accurate. Um, it's something really worth mentioning because a lot of these third party tools Whilst they give a good idea on the metrics, they're not completely accurate and they don't really truly represent A, what you're ranking for or B, what those rankings actually mean in terms of clicks, impressions, click through rate. And it's really great with SEO testing that you can actually look at this uh, data with confidence and look and think, right, that's actually the amount of clicks I'm getting or the amount of impressions I'm getting or the click through rate or the position I'm at. So uh, the data is, you know, uh, is completely proven. It's obviously Google data. So that's just something to really bear in mind with uh, SEO testing.com. It really does set itself apart from the competitors and uh, definitely something worth, uh, worth thinking about as well. Yeah, that's that, guys. That's how to access striking distance keywords with an SEO testing. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys later.